Welcome back to Lucky Only. Uh, my goal for this episode is to get to my next big level power spike. Let me show you what you get at level 44. One really great thing is the hyper shield. This is definitely, you know, a power upgrade. But at level 44, we get a few things. One, we get legendary spheres, which are incredible. They're our best spheres in the game, and we're definitely going to want a lot of those for when we're catching level 50 lucky pals. Also, we get the electric furnace, and this actually unlocks pal metal ingots. Now, you might remember we have quite a few blueprints for pal metal armor, and so we'll be able to immediately create the best armor in the game. I do love the sword, although this isn't really the part of the power spike. The other big thing that we get is Relaxosaurus's missile launcher. I've never actually used this, but I'm assuming it's pretty good based on how far down the tree it is and the fact that it's a missile launcher. And I just like uh, Relaxosaurus anyways. As far as actually achieving this goal, I have a few ideas. One is to continue to kill world bosses whenever they're off their timer, especially the higher level ones. And there's still some world bosses that are higher level that we haven't killed yet. There's a few different fire bosses that I think Relaxosaurus could really help us out with as well. The second thing I want to do is set up some routes in spots where there's a bunch of pals that we don't actually have yet. Um, there's actually a lot of different low-level pals that we do not have at all. For example, Rushor would be a pretty easy one to get, I bet. They're, he spawns like crazy. Celeries are also another great target. So going after some of these easy targets, um, and of course Gobfin I haven't even mentioned, but there's a million Gobfin spawns. I bet that would be a super easy one to get. But really, every single new type of Lucky I get is going to be a decent chunk of XP. Now that I'm up to level 39 and hopefully level 40 before I start really catching a lot of new pals, I'm going to be getting a ton of XP. So each time I find a new Lucky Pal, I'll be able to catch 9 other of that type. And I think that's the main way that I'm actually going to be able to level up to 44. So I'm going to do a little bit of a dungeon excursion, because I figured that would be a nice way to get some XP and get some really good blueprints slash abilities at the same time. And for that, I'm actually going to switch out my Hengyu for Gale Claw. Gale Claw is really nice in dungeons. Nice to done, Cognito. Armor schematic. Ooh, okay. This is one of the items I was really looking for. This thing is actually incredible because I was thinking with my Pal Metal armor, I'm not going to have cold resistance anymore. You can see that like pretty much all of the basic armors have cold resistant one on them, except for the Pal Metal. At that point, you lose all resistance. So... Yeah, having this thing on basically just means it does not matter. I think even if I take off my armor, I always have full cold resistance now. So this is this is pretty huge. This does not get old. <laughs> Good XP too. Taking these massive blasts of ice that are super effective against him, his health is only like a quarter of the way down. Yeah, I mean, look at that. That's like a massive attack and his health is barely getting hit. I mean, this is not the fight to use him in, so I'm really surprised that he's able to do so well. Okay, that's 14,000 experience. That's really good. I think these dungeons are going to be really good for XP. Okay, not great. Ooh, that might actually be a better Palmetal Helm schematic. That's awesome. Um, these tech manuals are funny. Uh, I already have 69 technology points. Nice. Uh, I don't think I'm going to need that many more. Poison. Another 18k XP. Almost leveled up. Another one? Wow, okay. I guess I need to go do some non-ice dungeons to try to get um, some different ones. Like, if I do the volcano or desert dungeons, I might get the level 2 version of this. That'd be really nice. Ooh, okay. Wow, I wasn't expecting to get a rocket launcher for a while. Well, I'll wait to make this until I do some more dungeons, because who knows, maybe I'll get a better blueprint, but yeah, I'm definitely making this. That's going to be crazy. I don't actually know if there's a way for me to buy the ammo. I can definitely get it in the desert from those rocket launcher uh, syndicate guys, but that's a pretty slow way to farm it. So if I do have to farm it that way, you know, I'm not going to be using that rocket launcher very often, that's for sure. Uh, level 50, that's going to be a little bit tough, but uh, I was not expecting to see uh, Lucky while doing this. I just came to the desert. I haven't even done a single one of these uh, caves yet.
He honestly doesn't seem that strong. Hardest part is just going to be catching him with uh, only 33 <laughs> spheres. We'll see how that goes. I'm going to have to electrocute him, freeze him, poison him, all of that. He's poisoned again now. I can probably go for the electric and ice and start grabbing him. And I'm going to go for the shock grenade. Hopefully he can get shocked. And then ice grenade. Ooh, that is a low percentage chance. I'm going to have to go for another ice grenade here. No way I got that first try. Wow, and that's some XP too. Look at this guy. Lucky, brave, serious, waterproof. Okay. Yeah, we'll have to check him out later, but he might actually be halfway decent. He's definitely my highest level guy at this point. Of course, he's going to get level synced down to me, and all my guys are you know, pretty much fully leveled up to my level anyways, but... Hey, that's a, that's a pretty cool find. I was not expecting to see that here. Because my Hetzel Sphere is so large, uh, he actually looks like the superior foe, even though normally a Ragnarok would probably destroy him. Luckily, we got levels on our side. And I'm distracting this guy. See how much XP we get. Okay, just 7k. So yeah, doing those higher level dungeons in the Ice Biome is definitely better for XP. Okay, that's nice. Um, this is an upgraded pendant of vigilance, so yeah, if I really wanted to speed up my work speed, that could be nice. Uh, Flare Storm is nice, too. Um, I'll do a few more of these, but yeah, I definitely might just move back to the Ice Biome for the extra XP, because that XP was really nice. Let's see. Oh, a better pump-action shotgun. Okay. That might be worth building. Um, I almost want to wait until I find a legendary, though. Because they are very expensive. A little close. Ooh, Attack Pendant 2. Okay, I think I already have a better one than this, but Attack Pendant 2, wow. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, I'm probably going to have that on instead. <laughs> I'll really help out when I'm using guns, because I've already started to level my attack a little bit. It's just kind of what you gotta do in the late game. I think this is an extra percentage on top of my actual, like, skill level ups. Okay, another Assault Rifle Schematic. These gold chests can give me, pretty sure, legendary guns. What is it? Refined Metal Armor Schematic. Nothing too useful, but it honestly sells for a lot more than other stuff in my inventory. Uh, I might need to... Trim down my inventory a little bit while I'm doing this, because I do get a lot of extra blueprints. Normally I don't have to worry about inventory space too much. So I just kind of keep everything on me, because who knows if it's going to be useful during a crazy lucky fight or something. But yeah, with what I'm doing right now, it probably makes sense to clear out a little bit more space. I don't need all the stuff that I have in my inventory, like... certainly don't need my stun baton right now, I don't need my pickaxe right now. I can put away a couple of these guns and stuff. Yeah, this is honestly fantastic XP, especially when I can find the boss really quickly. This works out really well. Yeah, I keep getting this uh, water guy, which is a little bit annoying because my fox parks cannot help out. Ooh, another attack pendant. Whoa. It's kind of crazy, so I can double stack rare attack pendants. That's pretty nutty, actually. Yeah, this kind of makes me into like a, <laughs> a solo god. Um, especially if I get like some lucky pals that would improve my player damage. I don't think I have any on me right now. But I probably have a couple somewhere. I'm curious to see how much damage I could do with guns. I'm gonna keep leveling my attack stat just in case. I know I said I wanted to mostly focus on pal damage, and I probably will for the tower fight, but man, it'd be pretty fun. To be able to do a ton of damage, you know, like, outside of those fights. I've been farming these already. So I finish up with this Toko Toko, I think Fox Parks is going to make quick work. Let's see. Oh, yeah. The attack pendants are uh, pretty good. Always nice to have. And another rocket launcher schematic. Didn't stand a chance. 
future technical manual, not bad. And the exact same rocket launcher schematic. Ooh, look at that. Man, I'm getting some really good pendants. This is this is really great. Um, also, I did get a cold resistant helmet armor. Um, I haven't had one of these before. That being said, now that I have this thermal undershirt, it doesn't seem really worth it to make this. These world bosses I haven't killed. We got a few like this that are in their high 40s. And then also a couple level 50 legendary ones. Um, I think we can actually take one or two of the legendaries. Probably not all of them right now. Chest. Clear pendant of diligence. That's nice. If I equip both of those, my work speed will actually be pretty awesome for crafting stuff. There we go. Wait, I hear... Wow, I hear Lucky. Hmm. Actually a little bit rough, because I don't know if I can... make it out of here without despawning it. I guess I don't really have any other options, so... I no longer hear it, which is a little bit of a bad sign. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to be despawned, unfortunately. But let's go check. Make sure I'm going towards the boss this way. Yeah, the fact that I can't hear it anymore. That's unfortunate. That's it's kind of tough. <laughs> yeah, I would for sure be hearing it by now. Oh well. Hey, okay, menacing. I've actually never fought this boss before. Cause I just never found him in my last playthrough. Man, Toko Toko is so good. Just carries every fight. And this boss is really cool, though. Never captured a menacing either. I know they just roam out in the world, so they should have by now. Okay, let's see what's in the chest. I don't know if this can be legendary or not. Ooh, fireball though, that's a good move. I definitely can use more of those because I've been holding off on teaching it just because I wasn't sure if I'd find a better fire type. But yeah, honestly, I should just give that to Fox Parks. While in the area, might as well grab this boss kill. 10k XP. I've gotten a lot stronger since the last time I tried this. You can definitely just kill it with guns if all else fails. Hydro laser, that's awesome. Okay, assault rifle should help out a little bit. So should really should have put that on. They just need someone to distract. My shield back. Egg bombs up. This gives CC, so makes it much easier to not die. There we go. 
Yeah, we've gotten a lot stronger since last time. That's crazy. So many more tools at our disposal. I did use a lot of assault rifle ammo, so that kind of sucks, but hey, worth it. Ooh, I should have taught Relaxosaurus Hydro Laser. I'm actually trying to break my shotgun because I want to make the better one. So I'm just waiting until I actually totally break it. Instead of repairing it, I'll just go ahead and make the other one and sell this thing. Kill nice. Pretty easy using the shotgun and the Relaxosaurus. Oh, and that's actually perfect. My pump action shotgun is down to like two durability. So I think it might sell for more if it's not totally broken. Not sure on that, but regardless, I'll sell it like this. This has taken a while, but we are just about done. <laughs> Man, some of these higher tier blueprints are uh pain to make. Okay, let's look at the difference. So 352 versus 308. Nice. Yeah, I'll be interesting to see how that actually relates to, you know, full on damage from all of the little pellets. But I'm gonna go sell some of this old stuff. I wonder how much that shotgun's actually worth. 15k. I mean, not bad. It's it's better than just throwing it away and doing nothing with it. Won't complain too much. On the list of bosses to kill is Aestagon, which is a dragon dark type. And so really its only weakness is going to be ice. And I could teach like Relaxosaurus some ice moves or someone else, but you know, we actually have a guy for the job. So I'm going to pull out my sweep by here and a couple sweeze. And we should be able to take this guy out. Um, and I guess like last time I'll uh, move Cognito off the team temporarily as well so yeah i mean he is slightly low level um maybe i'll go kill like a couple other bosses to try to level him up first but honestly he might do fine as is yo damage isn't great probably due to the level difference but yeah we'll see if we can get through it i'll definitely help out with uh, the shotgun as well let's see how much that thing does Yeah, the shotgun is very good damage. Switch him out for a sweet in a minute here. I am losing health due to heat here, so I do need to switch over to my armor as soon as I get a second. Okay, I need him to stop trying to attack me though. Okay, that works. I am low health. Ooh, that was a big hit. Sweepa did it. Oh no, Sweepa dies again. Oh man. Ooh, barely survived that. I almost died to heat. Whoa, Pal Metal Ingots. I mean, there's no way I can farm this guy enough to actually get enough to craft something useful, but that's kind of cool. I guess I should definitely try to kill him every time he's up. Who knows, maybe I'll be able to farm enough ingots before I actually get to level 44. Okay, well our Sweepa has earned a nice break in the box. <laughs> I'm sad that he died to that fire. I could have pulled him back. I did not quite realize how low he was. Um, also, I'm going to keep pumping attack. I might also go catch all of the captures that I haven't gotten yet. I bet that would boost me quite a bit, and I think at this point, you know, I'm high enough level where it's not a big waste to cash in all of those pals I haven't caught yet. And Serpent Terras. Used a lot of Ultra Spheres. And a lot of Shock Grenades. Doing this earlier would have been smart, but here we go. Okay, one more level left to go. I just need 35. Yeah, this will help a lot with those higher levels. Um, that was definitely tough, even with those Ultra Spheres. So I figured one uh, pretty low-hanging fruit would just be to fly over here a little bit. Um, there's pretty much only Gobfins in this area, and they spawn in mass. So I have a feeling getting a lucky one of these will not take long. Okay, this should be number 10, Catrice. That was the last one I still had to catch, so let's see where I'm at. Yeah, I'm over halfway to level 42. Uh, you know, it's definitely good XP. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to fully rely on it. We'll see. I'll have to keep catching some luckies and see how far I can get. 
but I definitely will be killing certain bosses every time they're off cooldown. That does seem to be pretty good XP, and at least it's consistent. Got her gobfin. Only level 33, shouldn't be too bad. <laughs> I'm kind of worried I'll kill it with the Toko Toko, but you know what? There's always going to be more. Yeah, yeah, we're good, we're good. That's enough for the Toko. A little bit of electrocution. And why not freeze it too, you know? Yeah. <laughs> All that to get 17% with a Giga. Okay, just take a Hyper. <laughs> we'll get you. Honestly, I'll splurge. Take an Ultra Spear. Beautiful. Okay, nice. Yeah, well that actually did end up being pretty easy. Now I can go ahead and uh, grab a couple of these little gob fins. Yay, that's 10 gob fins. Another nice little chunk of XP. Yeah, I mean, if I can get luckies this fast, uh, it's actually a pretty viable way of leveling up. I figured I might as well knock out some of these lower level areas first. Um, over here on this coast, there's actually a really nice spot where we can get celery spawns in mass and also Rush Roar, neither of which we have. And the other great thing about this spot is there are also Elk and Mamorest here. So I do have a pretty good chance of getting a new Lucky here. Yeah, and I also don't have a Tansy. So yeah, this just seems like a great spot for now. Something's a little weird. I haven't seen a single Rush Roar so far. I think they must be a little bit more inland um, than this map is even showing. So I might try to skim like here so I can spawn some Celerays over here and then some Rush Roars over here. Unfortunately, there are fox parks here, so I'm probably going to keep getting them. There we go. I'll just be a good ball on. Yeah, there definitely are a couple repeats here, so we'll have to see. Hopefully, I don't get too many of them. Hopefully, I can kind of get the ones I'm looking for. But I would say, like, in terms of total quantity of spawns, there's definitely more that I don't have than I do. This is actually, I think, even better. It doesn't have, you know, as many different uh, targets for me, so I'd have to leave once I found you know, the couple that are here, but it has pretty much just Celeries and Kelpsies, both of which I need, so it's honestly probably the smarter play. Like, super low level, and don't give a ton of XP, but... Hey, I gotta kill him sometime. We got the Celery! Yeah, that was actually pretty fast. I gotta make sure I don't accidentally kill this thing, so uh, <laughs> let's get rid of the shotgun. That's gonna be a recipe for disaster. Give it a little poison. Give it a little gigasphere. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Okay, let's capture 10 celeries. There is 10 celeries. What are we at? Oh, nice. We are almost 42. Just keep finding bosses I haven't killed yet. Uh, let's get a few of these guys too, why not? Yeah. FYI, I'm just over here because I wasn't sure if maybe there was a better proportion of kelp seed to celery. Um, it looks like there's not. I think it's about the same as where I was. Um, that being said, I think it might be a little bit easier to traverse this area. So I'll try it out for a bit. So I'm just running this little beach route. Um, there's a few guys that I'm interested in here. They're all kind of high level, so they're going to be a little bit tough to catch. But I should be able to do it. Um, and I saw there's a black marketeer here. So I'll see what he has to sell me. Yeah, I don't really care about any of those. So I'm going to go ahead and make a little money. I was just trying to find some stone so I could go uh, make some money in the Black Marketeer. Seems like maybe there is a Lucky up there. Okay, I don't know why you did that, Hesel Sphere. Okay. 
think it's up here. Hey, it's a Lee's Punk. That is a new one. Could not be mad at that. Definitely not the one I was really looking for, but... Hey, that's why I'm in an area with, like, a bunch of pals that I've never caught before. So I can find guys like this. That I wasn't expecting, but... can give me a lot of XP. Go ahead and poison him again. And then we'll just start throwing ultras. I don't really want to mess with the shark grenade. I'm a little worried it could kill him. Hey, apparently we'll get him right now. Nice. I don't think I've ever tried to use one of these guys before. Yeah, he's just like level 1 in a few things. He detects dungeons. Yeah, it doesn't seem super useful. He's actually gone now that I've left render distance. So I wonder if he just spawns in certain areas as like a random event. That's... Yeah, I had no idea. And that makes sense. I've actually seen the Black Markets here a couple of places I'd never seen him before. And I was like, wow, how did I not know he was here? So maybe that's what's actually going on. He's kind of disappearing. Well, anyways, now I have a little bit of wooden stone on me. So if I run into him again, uh, he's mine. Interesting. He's actually back. This is just the next run. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that then. Maybe I just have to continually like enter and leave render distance and he'll show up some of the time. Do with this. Oh, it's fantastic. Give him a little poison. But yeah, I guess uh, I'll just let one of my pals loose at it. Toko Toko. This is destroying my trap as well, but very slowly. Nice. 14k and a gold key. You love to see it. Here, I'll clean up after myself. Unlike all those people leaving eggs everywhere. Every time, but... uh. When he is, I might as well grab a little bit of free gold. There we go. Wonderful. Okay, nice. Level up. Got a little spicy. I was fighting a lot of guys at once to catch those. Uh, I still have a few more to catch, but... It's nice. We're already level 42. Two more levels to go. So this route's actually pretty fun. Um, I'll take you guys along for a little ride. Man, I've come a long way since I first got this hang you. Um, I really, you know, figured out how to, you know, raise myself and lower myself. You can really just like control exactly what altitude you want to be at. It's crazy. There, I can just like skim that. If you let yourself drop like this and like skim on the surface. You can get so much distance because all of that height you're gaining, you just turn into forward distance. You should really be gaining height here, that's what I normally do. But I love how long this route is. It's, it makes it a lot more fun. Like, when it's a super short route and you're teleporting all the time, I don't know, it gets a little bit boring. Nice, I got enough height. But yeah, that's what I've been doing. By the way, for anyone else that wants to move around the map like this, um, do note that I have a lot of stamina. I actually have my stamina all the way up to 230. Which... Probably don't need that much. Honestly, if I had a little less stamina, I think I would still be able to do this run just with one stop. But it does take a lot of stamina. And I think that is one of the reasons that Ultimari is, you know, preferred by a lot of people. Because it does take a lot less stamina to use. And man, I just gotta say, being able to, like, take off from a low point and just gain altitude, it's awesome. So it'd be hard to give that up with the Kilmari. Wow, I was about to start complaining that I hadn't seen any luckies in a while. I do hear one. I think it's up here somewhere? Where is it? Oh, there it is, okay. Nice, it's a new one. 
This guy's really cool too, honestly, Incineram. <laughs> Gonna want to use him. Okay, but first I have to not die to him. Which could be a challenge. He is level 48. We have 18 Ultra Spheres. I imagine if I can't get him after 18, I'm not going to get him, so... Seven percent. I don't know why he's not interested in me, but hey, I won't argue with it. Dude, that might kill him, so I'm not gonna let that hit him. Actually, man, I'm getting so lucky with these. That's crazy. Wow, look at that. Also, like, 30k XP. That's awesome. Man, capturing level, like, 48 and 50 luckies are gonna be really good XP. Wow. This is the next run after the last one. Okay, this guy's actually level 50, though. Okay, my Toko Toko's back online. That's good. Man, that's crazy. So, yeah, I was going for over two hours. And, oh man. And I hadn't seen any luckies, so I was about to start complaining. Okay, gotta be pretty careful about this guy. Gonna teleport, maybe to me. Okay, he's got it. Probably shock. I don't want to poison though. Can we get a freeze? No. Great, there's another bushy. Oh? oh okay. No. I have to keep hitting that timing. Don't even. Okay. Probably should have made some more ultra spheres before uh, <laughs> continuing the run. Yeah, this isn't looking amazing, to be honest with you. This is such low health. It's the last one. Let's see if hyperspears even have a chance. Okay. Okay, they do have a chance. I will throw all of them. That is for sure. Yeah, I mean, next one. Of these, I'll try poison. Maybe once I get down to five, because. Okay. A bunch more. Back at base, that I did not pick up. We're going to poison after this one. I don't even know if we can survive a single tick of poison. I might just have to pray. <gasps> oh my god. Nope. Oh was very, very close to not happening. I had pretty much given up, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> oh, okay. 25k XP, too. That's crazy. Okay, well, I am going back to base right now. Uh, 
I don't want to risk seeing another Lucky, so I'm literally going to destroy my last base on the map and teleport out of here. Because if I see another Lucky with no balls, I will just die inside. Let's take a quick look at these guys. So, here's Bushy. He's honestly the exact size I remember, just because I've only ever, cop I've only ever captured the boss version. He's really cool, though. Um, I'm definitely pretty tempted to use him. And then we also have our Incineram here. Yeah, and I've never seen an Incineram this big. He's really cool. I feel like Incinerams were always a little lackluster, and I think part of it is because they're like the same size as you. So it's kind of cool having like just this massive one. Yeah, definitely uh, makes them a little more intimidating. Yeah, so I mean, both this guy and Bushi have very similar um, ability, similar to Cognito as well. I mean, this guy literally teleports, so he's like the Cognito replacement for sure. Uh, well, I'm going to go make a ton of balls before I go back there. I'm definitely going to go around and get Lift Monk Epigees before I go back to get 10 of each of those guys. Um, I only have one more level to get, and I should definitely get it as soon as possible. I'm sure that would have helped out. I've never seen a huge Rocky Egg. Interesting. I wonder what comes out of this. I've never actually... I don't think I've ever hatched one of these before. Well, if you know in the comments, uh, let me know. Okay. <laughs> That's my base. Uh, I just collected these two Lift Monk effigies, and, uh... Oh, they're lucky. It's crazy how you can go, like, hours without seeing one when just, like, farming. And then all of a sudden you just get, like, three back-to-back. -back. Uh, what level is this guy? 39? Shouldn't be too bad. Let's throw some ultras at him. It looks like I'm going to be making a lot of Ultras, but here we go. It only took like, I don't know, five or six. Whoa, early body. This Loot Moon might actually be a good fighter. Regardless, I think I'm past the stage of using a Loot Moon. But uh, that's pretty cool. That was actually a decent chunk of XP, too. Okay, well, now back to the mission. Oh, way. What? I have found, like, a single Lip Monk Effigy. I was literally just right over there. Okay, I guess I'm gonna get a lot of these guys. And this is a new one too, that's crazy. This is so nice. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Never mind. Forgot they exploded. Well, rip in peace. I was too busy being excited that I didn't even think about the very, very obvious that, hey, if you're trying to catch a bee guard, maybe don't like get up next to them. And, oh well, back to the actual mission at hand. So, one of my ideas was actually to farm for bee guards. Um, I think it would be really easy, because there are a lot of spots where they spawn, like, in mass. So, yeah, I'll probably end up getting a bee guard soon anyways. But still sad. Always hate to see a lucky die. Maxed out capture power. So, really, at this point... The only thing that's going to affect my capture power is, I believe, levels. I think the level difference does matter when you're capturing, as well as the actual tier of the ball. So, once I get to 44 and get legendary balls, I'm basically at the max, which is pretty cool, but also a little frightening if there are any, like, level 50s that are super hard to catch, though. So I'm just going to need to carry around a lot of ultras and legendaries. Okay, so honestly, I would like to have a lot more, but for now I have 58 hyperspheres and 21 ultras. Um, I'm not really planning on farming for a high level Lucky the second, but I'm going to be back in that area catching up to 10 of each of those, you know, just for the XP. So, yeah, fingers crossed this will be enough if we run into another level 50 Lucky. Okay, let's see this guy go. Um, do you note that he's going to be using fire attacks against a fire guy? Who's pretty high level. Yeah, he's got some abilities really cool. <laughs> when he hits it, totally missed that one. 
interesting. That ability was doing a lot of damage to me, so hopefully it hits when he's on a slope like this. Right. Oh yeah, he's got dark laser. That's really cool. Such a good move. See if he'll do the thing I commanded him to. I think this is just his regular attack. He's still super cool though. Bushi basically being a Cognito replacement. Kind of still want Cognito on the team. <laughs> he's definitely worse, but he's just cooler, I think. Screen, but yeah, I totally forgot that I have this shock baton. This stun baton. Um, I really don't have to use stun grenades if I'm worried about killing whatever it is. Like, I can just hit it three times with the stun baton. Um, I bet that Bushy would have been caught a lot easier if I had just done that. Oh, also, here's uh, Incineram number 10. There we go. 10 out of 10 for Incineram. I think I still need two more bushies. And then I can probably move on to somewhere else. Um... Farming here actually does sound fun, but there's not a lot of guys left to get. Um, I did really want a Thingalope. They're really fun to play around with, but not really necessary, so who knows. Maybe one day I'll come back. Here's number 10. Okay. I think I'm just about done with this area. Yeah, next up, I might actually go and try to get revenge on those B guards. Um, yeah, I can't believe I lost that lucky. And I do think they would actually be pretty easy to farm. Over here? Oh, I see it. What is it? Oh, is it a Goriat? Nice. That's half the reason I was over here, because I'm like, okay, it's mostly just Goriats and B-Guard. They're both new. So I will gladly take one of you. I'll just use an Ultra Sphere. I'll just throw away an Ultra Sphere. Nice, another new type. Oh, that guy's got some decent stuff going on. <laughs> Suntan Lover, Waterproof, some resistances. Hooligan, I think, gives an extra like 15% attack. So, yeah, he can be kind of fun to use, honestly. Okay, another Moss Sanda. My chance to redeem myself. Will I kill it? That's the question. Nice first strike. Yeah, very nice. Okay. That's Moss Sanda number two. But that'll be nice around the base. He honestly does a lot of good work around the base right now. He is neutral type, which is a little bit tough because there's a lot of dark type attacks that come out from bosses, even non-dark bosses. So in that way, it would be hard to use him. But honestly, his partner skill seems like it would be really good leveled up. Um, I wonder how much attack you could actually get him. Not quite a quarter level, but yeah, it's looking pretty good. I, th I definitely think we can get 44 this episode, although it might get a little long. I think it's time to really just power level. And to do that, I think I just got to run dungeons. Um, and kill world bosses. Big dig toys. Okay, if you guys actually want to get one of these dig toys, uh, this guy can mine just as well as mine, I'm sure, just because he's so large. I guess uh, going to the volcano, or probably the desert too, and doing these caves is the way to do it. 
That's really cool. Yeah, I'd never seen a big dig toys like this uh, before I found that lucky. Nice, level up. Hyper shield made. Okay, nice. So this is one of the main reasons I've been doing dungeons was to get this heat resistant undershirt. So now I have both this one and this one, meaning I basically don't need any sort of heat resistant or cold resistant armor. So yeah, I can retire this armor that I've been carrying around with me and just start swapping these shirts out when I need to. Ooh, okay. She's got an even better pal metal armor. Uh, we already had a rare one, and now we have an epic. Nice, I was just about to call it a night. Oh, this guy's kind of high level though, I'm gonna have to be a little bit careful. Ignis Rage, love it. Shotgun time. Okay, I'm gonna have to redo the poison and the shock. That is a new lucky. Wait, what? Another double lucky? Okay, okay, okay. This is a little scary, though. This is a little bit scary. Okay, it happened again. It happened again. He was just walking up to me. I didn't even realize. Man, one pose really cool. That's crazy. I'm glad I was over here. I was just like looking for caves and thought, ah, I'll run back and forth a couple times. Why not? Okay, we go for poison and shock, and we start throwing balls. Lucky. This is crazy. Okay, well, I might be able to level up just from catching their friends. That's, uh, wow. That is exactly what I needed right now, honestly. I need to make sure I don't accidentally catch the wrong type of Wumpo, though, because there is the green Wumpo that spawns over here sometimes, too. Man, okay, well, yeah, I was literally just about to go to sleep. It's, like, super late. Um, so that was a very unexpected surprise. I'm going to catch these guys in the morning. But for you... It will be an instant these guys to see what they can do. And I don't think I've ever really used either of these guys. So for one, we have Wumpo. Um, 
That's interesting. He's just going to be really useful around the base, but also I could throw him in my party if I wanted a little bit more max carrying capacity. So yeah, I'm really not sure how good this could ever really be. Um, I could level it up to four, so it could dig up gold coins more often, but it just doesn't seem worth it to try to set up a money farm like this. I think it would just be extremely slow. And that is 10 mouse. I think I just need two more Wumpos, and I might actually level up. Nice, 7.5k, um, like 8.8k total. So yeah, that means I'm only 23,000 from another level. Honestly, one or two more boss kills and we're there. With this last boss fight, I will level up to level 44. Man, it has been a long journey trying to level up. I really don't know if I'm going to do any more big level grinds after this. Um, I don't know how much higher of a level I really need to beat the game. 44 is going to be such a huge power spike. Get him, Cognito. Level 44. Ugh, I'm going to keep increasing attack. But yeah, here we go. Legendary Spheres, Electric Furnace, <laughs> Relaxosaurus's Missile Launcher. Oh, wow. Don't know if I really need a Wumpo Saddle, but who knows. Basically, the first thing I'm going to do next episode is get all of the stuff crafted up. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I don't know if this has been a fun one or a boring one, but next episode I'm really excited because we're going to start doing some big things. Um, I'm really hoping we can take on the next tower boss as well as some legendaries. Hope you guys are excited, and I'll see you guys next time.